Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri, Minkum. And always a reminder for myself, Ana Abdul Kalaji Sadai, for miskeen, uzal, and mujahad. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah dress us and bless us and grant for us to reach to the reality of a nukht. And Imam Ali salam described himself, I am the nukht under the ba. And we talked about the one in the nukht, the one in the nukht, a positive and negative energy and that mankind and men, they represent the one on earth and that the women represent the nukht, not negative because then they all attack us on emails, they represent the nukht. It's a station of honour and immense power for that nukht is the source of bringing creation into existence. Because when we follow that nukht and where it goes on the huruf, that nukht in the belly of jim gives the power for Sayyidina Jibra'il salam to bring the message from heavens onto earth. And Imam Ali is saying, I am the nukht under the ba. Means I am the nukht to Sayyidina Muhammad who is my one, is my king. And that one is a reflection of the one of Allah which will be in the 11th month, the secret of mirroring. La ilaha illallah is one. Nothing like unto it. And Allah a hidden treasure wanting to be known makes a reflection called Muhammadun Rasulullah One is the truth, nothing like unto it. But Allah created a reflective one that will reflect what Allah wants to reflect to be known. They describe the haqqaiq like we are in a mirror of illusions. And they asked Imam Ali salam that, how is creation after Allah how is Allah after He has created this creation? And his reply, Allah is as He has always been, the creation doesn't even exist. It's appearing within a fraction of a fraction of whatever we can understand of the smallest and most minute moment in time. Within that moment of time Allah expands it to be these millions and billions of years that we deem. And that's why Allah is saying, don't you understand my time frame? One of my years may be 50,000 of your years. One of my years may be thousand years of your years, means you don't understand my time, Allah has no time. Allah is beyond creation, that which is beyond creation is not even in the understanding of time and in the world of light is a constant, absolutely no time. Time exists within our earth, sun, moon. And relative to this sun, earth and moon is our time. If we're on another planet, the moon's moving so fast, their time may be completely a different concept. So from what we know of our yawm and shar of the tajalli of the day and the month is relative to this abode of earth, nothing to do with the heavens. The world of light is, is not of a… not restricted by time, not understood by time and all that we can understand of malakut 
is that it's light. And all that Allah has allowed of science to understand of light that it's a constant. If you move at that speed of light it and if you send something else to move after that it's at a constant. It will continuously be moving and locked and never overtaking the other. And as Allah beyond understanding is in continuous expansion of creation and Muhammadun Rasulullah the ocean of creation for us to understand is continuously moving towards Allah at a constant and never overtakes. It's locked always at qawba qawsayni wa adana. So as much as Allah expanding creation, as much as the Nur Muhammad is moving in that ocean in that reality. Means this ocean of lights and its immensity and that the reality of that eleven is Ahad. That from Allah's ocean of La ilaha illallah, nothing is like onto it but I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known. And I'll be known through the secret of my Ahad but that I created it out of love and I put a wow. So wa Ahad, Wahid. So I made this creation from my ahadiyya secrets because there's no two. But I attached to it a wow and made it from oceans of love and I made this entire light out of my love of wanting to be known. Our existence is to know Allah that's all He wanted. I only created you to make myself to be known. Do you know me yet? And then there comes the, the great battle on earth, everyone claiming that they know the Divine. This reality of that one <coughs> and the pursuit of that oneness, that, that reflection of the Divine is the secret of next month which is the secret of eleven. That from La ilaha illallah Allah is reflecting to the ocean called Muhammadun Rasulullah not a form, it's not a body, it's light. And every creation is from that light because you can't be from Allah's light, there's no two. You can't breathe. Allah's light, you can't be in the proximity of Allah's light, Allah's beyond that. We're the computer, somebody else made us. It's bold for the computer to think that the one who made him is also in here too. That's an ignorant computer. We're just the box that Allah says, I plug you and unplug you anytime I want. I can make you all non-existent. It's but a blink and the power is off and all of creation collapses and it's all in illusion anyways. It's all moving and making holograms and if Allah won't He can collapse everything into its nothingness. That in itself is our reality that Allah is describing for us, teaching for us that this one is your life to move towards that. Reach to my oneness but be a nukht, take the way of the nukht. What's the, the not for nukht? We do Urdu start. Ikra nukhti, go. Ik nukte vich gal muk diye, 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 har nuk da chhad kitabano, da nuk ta chhod hisabano, la nuk ta chhod hisabano. 
ਮਾਨੋ ਇੱਕ ਨੁਕਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਮੁੱਕਦੀ ਏ 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 ਐਵੇਂ ਮੱਥਾ ਜ਼ਮੀਂ ਗਸਾਈ ਦਾ ਲੰਮਾ ਪਾ ਮਹਿਰਾਬ ਦਿਖਾਈ ਦਾ ਐਵੇਂ ਮੱਥਾ ਜ਼ਮੀਨ ਗਸਾਈ ਦਾ ਪਾ ਲੰਮਾ ਮਹਿਰਾਬ ਦਿਖਾਈ ਦਾ ਪੜ ਕਲਮਾ ਲੋਕ ਹਸਾਈ ਦਾ ਦਿਲ ਅੰਦਰ ਸਮਝ ਨਾ ਲਾਈ ਦਾ ਕਦੀ ਬਾਤ ਸੱਚੀ ਵੀ ਲੁਕਦੀ ਏ ਇੱਕ ਨੁਕਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਮੁੱਕਦੀ ਏ ਇੱਕ ਨੁਕਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਮੁੱਕਦੀ ਏ ਇੱਕ ਮੁਕਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਮੁਕਦੀ ਏ ਕਈ ਹਾਜੀ ਬਲ ਬਲ ਆਏ ਜੀ ਗੱਲ ਨੀਲੇ ਜਾਮੇ ਪਾਏ ਜੀ ਕਈ ਹਾਜੀ ਬਲ ਬਲ ਆਏ ਜੀ ਗੱਲ ਨੀਲੇ ਜਾਮੇ ਪਾਏ ਜੀ ਹਜ ਵਿੱਚ ਤਕੇਲੇ ਖਾਏ ਜੀ ਬਲਾ ਐ ਗੱਲ ਕਿੰਗ ਦੂ ਚੁੱਕਦੀ ਏ ਇੱਕ ਨੁਕਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਮੁਕਦੀ ਏ ਇੱਕ ਨੁਕਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਮੁਕਦੀ ਏ ਇੱਕ ਨੁਕਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਮੁਕਦੀ ਏ ਫੜ ਮੁਰਸ਼ਿਦ ਅਬਦ ਖੁਦਾਈ ਹੂੰ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਸਤੀ ਬੇਪਰਵਾਹੀ ਹੂੰ ਫੜ ਮੁਰਸ਼ਿਦ ਅਬਦ ਖੁਦਾਈ ਹੂੰ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਸਤੀ ਬੇਪਰਵਾਹੀ ਹੂੰ ਬੇਖਾਹਿਸ਼ ਬੇਨਵਾਈ ਹੂੰ ਵਿੱਚ ਦਿਲ ਦੇ ਖੂਬ ਸਫਾਈ ਹੂੰ ਬੁੱਲਾ ਬਾਤ ਸੱਚੀ ਕਦੋਂ ਰੁਕਦੀ ਏ ਇੱਕ ਨੁਕਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਮੁੱਕਦੀ ਏ ਇੱਕ ਨੁਕਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਮੁੱਕਦੀ ਏ ਇੱਕ ਨੁਕਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਮੁੱਕਦੀ ਏ ਅੱਲਾਹੁਮ ਸੱਲੀ ਵਾ ਸੱਲਮ ਵਾ ਬਾਰਕ ਅਲੈ ਵਾ ਆਲੀ ਆਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਇਜ਼ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਅ ਨੋਖਤ ਇਵ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਜ਼ਾ ਵਜਲ ਇਜ਼ ਵਨ ਐਂਡ ਇਸਲਾਮ ਇਜ਼ ਤਸਲੀਮ Islam itself is submission means that you can't be a one submitting to one that's not submission but the one has to go down and that becomes the reality of binary code and binary code teaches us it's a energy there's not actually one and zero moving in the computer it's a charge that comes it's a plus the charge goes it's a negative the charge comes it's a one the charge goes it's a nukht so allah zawajal is describing our islam and we said before it's the simplified of all religion our whole aqeedah our whole fiqh our whole understanding is are you a nukht or you're trying to be a one If you're trying to be a one there's nothing that you can explain that this is Islam and nothing that you're doing will make you to reach Allah if you're a one and that's why we described before there's so many hadiths the seven categories of servants on the day of judgment will be brought before Allah's judgment and it's not Allah sitting on a chair this is a, a different understanding but they'll be brought in the presence of the one whom will be judging. said so he gave lot of charity take him on his face and drag him out he did lot of prayers take him on his face and drag him out he did all the amals that we can name for seven of them the hadith is giving to us the understanding why if their amal is based on arrogance and they thought themselves to be a god an ilahi a one why and how how could they possibly move into that reality of allah zawajal and allah zawajal give for us my perfect servant my perfect creation whom i created an ancient reality to be known by it is a muhammadan haqaiq haqiqatan muhammadiyah and it's the ocean of muhammadun rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which Allah Zawajal said, this is a one, this is my reflection 
and he's the shadow of Allah and he's the perfect of servanthood. And as a result he's a one that is in complete taslim, complete submission. And that was the representation of prophecy. The Prophets come to reflect the one and Allah addresses their seven holy openings of their face. What makes a Prophet a Prophet is the face, that they represent the face of Allah Wajhika Kareem, Wajh Allah. Wajh Allah is the essence, it dresses Wajhika Kareem, the generous face. The Divinity reflects onto the face of these messengers of Allah and they represent the One, they are the shadow of the One. The reality of Allah sending a messenger onto earth is that, you'll never see me, you'll never know me, you'll know me through the reflection of My Ones, that they enter onto the earth and you must obey them. They are the reflection and they are the perfect one that submits. As soon as they bow down in their worshipness they have the perfection of a nuqt because they are the perfection of their duality and, and their binary code. They're on, they're up and delivering their message. When they're worshipping and submitting and the humility of their character they're completely a nuqt. So that one when it reflects it's teaching the binary system to that servant. So the perfected of all are the messengers of Allah they're delivering a message for God Almighty. And Allah opened their ears, their eyes, their breath, their tongue and as a result they speak for the Divine. They are the symbols of God's oneness on earth and these are the messengers who brought the message of oneness. They are the symbols of oneness but we are not the symbol of oneness. And they came to us to teach that when we receive our One we're receiving from the Divine, teaching you how to be a nukht, not teaching you how to be a One. That would be somebody coming around teaching everybody how to be Pharaoh, that all of you are Ones, everybody's going to be a One then we would have like a pharaonic symbol. So then the risalat and the station of the messengers of Allah they represent a one. And Allah sends the religion of oneness, come and tell that creation that I am one and you represent Qul Hu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, I'm one. And my samadhiya is that none of you feed me, none of you give to me, don't bring food for me, I don't need your food, don't bring money for me, I don't need your money. Samad, I'm self-sustained, I don't need anything from this creation. The people who bring things for, for God, astaghfirullah, Allah needs nothing from His creation, Allahu Ahad and this is the sincerity means that Surat Al-Ikhlas is beyond all these rules and laws but teaches the, the pure essence of a Divine message, Qul. Allah is saying, say Qul Hu to the re reality of Hu, Allahu Ahad. So when the One comes onto earth His message is Allahu Ahad, so Allah is One. Allahu Samad and that Allah is not in need of anything from His creation. Means then the depth of that reality is then they came to teach creation be nothing, be a nukht. Don't, don't make yourself to follow shaitan and shaitan to fool you that you're something, you're someone. Take the path of no one. No one, leave the oneness for Allah Lam yalid wa lam yulad, all about the way of nuqt that comes from no one, sustained by no one and this is not something from the earth. 
It's not even something from Malakut, Allah not even in the ocean of creation. And the Prophets represent the representation of one. And their message was for us to be a nukht. And our life is to judge everything that we do on how to reach that message of being a nukht, negating. If we understood that, because some people are saying that, no, this material world we learned in the West, you have to be someone, you have to be powerful, you have to make lots of money, you have to educate yourself, you have to have positions and jobs that Maybe you're not supposed to be there but you should struggle your way to be in there and get in there and you don't need to take, take care of a family, you need to do all these things. Those are all the waswases of shaitan saying, be one, be a one, be some one, be any one. And the, prof- the Prophets of Allah just say, be no one, be no, never be the, the one. Take a path in which to negate yourself. If we understood and we brought it into the depth of our reality, that, Ya Rabbi I want to take a path to be no one and I'm going to try my best to efface myself. So then these people who have this question, but they're telling us in the West and they're telling us now in the East because the East followed the West and followed their teaching and lost all of our teachings. That no, no, we have to be somebody, you have to get lots of money, you have to have lots of power, lots of authority, otherwise people will abuse you. But anytime you move to the one, Allah's guarantee is that shaitan is pumping you up and his real contract is to humiliate you and destroy you. With the false illusion that you have power. And then he'll ridicule you, torment you because your power will only be for a certain amount of time until he takes you, destroys you, destroys everything about you and gives you only a a fake one. And that's when Allah describes, tell them of the truth and when the truth and the falsehood they're not comparable and that the falsehood has nothing to stand on, it's nothing that's going to be permanent. And Allah God Almighty guarantees everybody the grave as the great equalizer. All those fake ones when they enter the grave, boy they got a surprise for them. Whatever Satan had fooled them with of their accomplishments and their embitterments and all of whatever it is, they're going to find when they enter into the grave that Allah destroyed all of that and all that's left with them are the actions and the sins and deeds that they brought into that box. And shaitan convinces people, come, come to this oneness, this fake oneness, be someone and I'll give you all of these riches and power and influence. And if you go towards nothingness, there's nothing there. They even describe it as nothing, it's just, it's just black, dark, nothing. And Allah describes for us, no it's actually completely opposite. You're going to the one who has no money, has no power, has no authority and whatever he's fakingly giving to you and inspiring to you, Allah says, I can destroy it all in a moment. Why you don't come to the one who really has power? The one whom controls and pays and owns everything. And that was the message for all messengers, teach them to submit, be nothing. He's frozen, be nothing. In their nothingness. What happens if you be dressed by nothingness? You reach towards Allah's power. You don't go into nowhere but as you're deflating and deflating and deflating means this, this nukht is immensely powerful. 
that when Allah just said, the more you become a nukh, the more you become a nukh, the more you're entering into My Divinely Presence. And when you enter into My Divinely Presence, the tenth month and the zikr of the tenth month, Subhana man dul arshi amma yasifoon. Means those whom they achieved a nukht reality, what the nut was saying? That all the murshids, all the people, everyone trying to reach to that reality. For if they reach that reality of surrendering their character, surrendering their bad identity, surrendering their will back to Allah what Allah wants from your money and your property and your goods. Allah says, give me back really what I gave you that had value. You think the money He gave you had value? He said, I gave you a free will, give it back to me. This is the honour I had given to you and all creation is astonished how you people have free will. Give me back your will if you really want to put on table. Then they get scared and say, no you ought to be here some… a lamb for you, this is some goats and this is some other cash I'm going to give. Says, that'll do for now but I'm going to come back to you again tomorrow, surrender your will to me. And that was the whole way of taslim. And that was the reality of Islam, Islam is to submit and they have it in their Lord's Prayer, Thy Kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, who's Thy? Allah's will will be done. How can Allah's will be done if you have a will? Means you have to have surrendered your will. It's not about what you want, it's not about what you deem the future is or your future is, it's about reaching to be a nukht and those whom they are achieving and have achieved that reality, what happened to them? They entered into an ocean of power because in this ocean of power there's no ones allowed. There's a source of power for us to understand like a lightning that represents that one, like a… a for us to understand, like a, a lightning bolt that continuously firing off. There's no one allowed into that ocean, it won't allow that reality and pushes those types of people away from that Divinely reality. And what Allah wants in this ocean of magnetism, the more you make yourself the nukht, the more your magnetism and your energy will lock and load towards Allah and it's not through your head. You don't think that, oh I'm close to Allah No, no, you had to have negated everything. You had to have been nothing, you, you don't show yourself as anything, don't claim anything. Continuously be humble, be humble, be humble through every type of difficulty, every type of testing until Allah is pulling your soul into the ocean of that reality. And they begin to what we call catch fire. This is now the deeper reality of things that have been spoken about. Shaykh, how do I know I'm, I'm reaching? How do you know? It's because the shaykhs will be taking your soul into that lightning. And the more you became a nukht, the more Allah will fire you up. And the ones whom are big on themselves and ones, they don't feel anything but they're not allowed in that association. The ones whom accomplished and understood, be nothing, be nothing, be nothing and keep making yourself to be negated, you'll actually be brought in into what we call the hadara. These are the realities of these zikrs, not the imitated things we see people doing. The reality of the hadara is that when the shaykhs are moving into that lightning and they don't have to stand and do it but that was a form of zikr in which imitated this reality so that people would understand its imitation. Hadrat al-Nabi is that in their souls and in their arwa they're granted a, an audience in their zikrs and in their meditations. And in that audience their soul is moving and being nothing and the hadrat and the power of Sayyidina Muhammad from Divinely Presence like a lightning bolt that hits all their souls and begins to ignite them and ignite them and ignite them. 
and they go into an ecstatic hall and the result of catching fire that they're continuously heated up. And that Divinely Presence, that reality that Allah dressing upon the soul and the light of Prophet is the hadr of Allah which can only be understood by the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad That lightning that flows into the heart and the soul of Prophet not understood. But for ourselves the soul can reach into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad If we learn to be a nuqt, they're coming with the shaykhs without arrogance and the shaykhs are continuously being dressed by that hadra. That's why Izzatullah, Izzat Rasul wa Izzat al-Mu'mineen. When Allah describing in Holy Qur'an that our Izzah and our might, Izzatullah, it comes and flows in tawheed, not like all over the place. It comes and flows with perfection of oneness to the heart of Prophet Can you imagine an electrical wire when you do wiring in your house? that you just throw an electrical current like this and it goes everywhere? No, you wire it. So oneness and tawheed is Allah says, my current goes directly to Prophet Nobody can contain my current. Allah describes my current is a Qur'an, if I reveal it to the mountain it will be dust but I reveal it to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and it's firm. And nobody can reach that current because that's Qur'an. Manzil Qur'an is the speech of Allah nobody reaches to that current. The only one receiving that reality is Sayyidina Muhammad But for everything else is a Muhammadiyun reflection that all Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin and Allah said, you want to be with me? Be with. Nabi'een, he didn't say, come to me by yourself or well, Allah wants to see you by yourself. You're not of that reality, nobody is of that reality. Allah just says, I am with Nabi'een and because Nabi'een are there, Siddiqeen are there. Siddiqeen, Shuhada and Salihin are there and that's the symbol of the Kaaba, four corners. And Allah says, I'm with them, they're the best of company. That's the symbol of that lightning. When Prophet lightning is shooting out, who's catching it? All oh, the souls of Nabi'een. And who else is there? Definitely all the Sahabi and Ahlul Bayt with our Siddiqeen. All of them are shuhada whom they, they live their lives and they do, fight and die in the way of Allah whether in an actual battle or they fought their bad character. And they became martyred in the way of Allah which Ahlul Basira, which they see through their heart. And all the Salihin who follow them, they're all into that hadara. And every moment that light is coming like the beat that beats for the entire universe. It's a Muhammadan beat and it's the reality of the pulse of the entire created universe that every time, La ilaha illallah hum hits and Muhammad Rasulullah beats throughout the entire universe that nobody sees the La ilaha illallah and that it beats in the reality of Prophet and that's the pulse and the energy that is feeding the entire oceans of power, entire. And there are awliya that can go into that, into that reality of La ilaha illallah huwa Muhammadun Rasulullah into that beat, that beat the entire universe and pulse of this entire created oceans, entire created oceans. Its reality is immense, immense and all Allah wants from us, come to it. You, you're chasing that green dollar that has nothing, has not even a value anymore, they don't even want to pay the cost of printing it, they want to digitally produce it. Because even the cost of printing that garbage was worth nothing. He says, you're running for that and you think they're going to give you your paycheck and they're going to give you a title and they're going to give you honour? If you reach to my power and reach into my ocean of power, what happens? 
my light, my energies, my reality is dressing you. I make all of creation to make sujood to you. Didn't Allah give to Sayyidina Yusuf say, I make the sun, the moon and all 11 planets make sujood to you because these were the symbols of nuqs. There's not a symbol of nuq that you could imagine that wasn't dressed by Izzatullah, Izzat Rasul and the entire mulk of dunya, the entire reality of dunya is under their command. But for them it's far more beautific to receive the lightning than to receive cash. So as a result of that ecstasy and that love they're continuously moving into that ocean, Ya Rabbi I'm nothing, I'm nothing. But grant me from this light, grant me from these blessings. As they move towards that reality that is the real power, not the imitated people who think they have power. Not the imitated dunya, all they have to do is in that lightning as Ya Rabbi what I'm in need of. And Allah is the sustainer, Allah is the provider, Allah is the one whom gives life and death, Allah is the healer. There's not a doctor on earth that can hear heal you if the lightning didn't give a command for you to be healed. It all comes from that ocean. وَأَنزَلْنَهُ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَادِرِ وَمَلَائِكَةِ وَرُوبِ بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ كُلٌّ عَمْرٌ سَنَامٌ هِيَا حَتَّى مِطْلَى الْفَجْرِ Every command is coming into that lightning bi'idhni Allah with the permission. This is not outside of Allah, this is the reality of what Allah has established of His kingdom in the world of light. Beyond what they think and what they want to visualize of palaces and, and paradises, not even this is above the knowledge of Sayyidina Jibreel It's not the level of paradise and understandings of paradise. This is into the realities of the, of the oceans of malakut and its oceans of power. That from that ocean of power everything is granted, everything is achieved. And that every dress to be accomplished. We pray that Allah grant us to be a nuqt and to receive that light, that energy, that love from His Divine, the presence, the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and all awliyaullah fi samai wa fil ard, all ahlul bayt and ashab al nabi. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon. Wa salaamu ala al mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa Min bi siri Surat al-Fatiha